What is up, my buttery biscuits? In today's video, we're going to be talking about RuPaul's Drag Race. If you guys have not seen the most recent episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars, make sure you guys click off this video because there will be spoiler alerts if you guys have not seen it. I really wanted to talk about this because y'all literally watching the show, I was like, I know some drama is going to pop up after this because I feel like one of the persons that was taken off of the show or, you know, decided to be eliminated was one of, like, I would say the fan favorite, honestly, because everyone loves her personality. But I do have to say, watching the show I felt like that was such a difficult decision to make we will obviously talk about everything within today's video I do want to say before getting into this though I still don't really understand the hate obviously it's a very difficult decision to make when you have to choose one of your you know co-stars basically to get the chop and I think that is really unfortunate but that is the name of the game also I do want to say this though before getting into it, I just don't understand how so many people don't understand that we obviously only see a small portion of the show. There are so many things that are left cut out or not um, on camera. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that we just don't know about. And every time that I'm like reading Twitter comments, I see people popping off like crazy. And I'm like, y'all, we are watching a, a super edited down show. I'm sure that they have tens and tens and honestly probably hundreds of hours of footage that they're cramming down into a one hour episode so we're obviously going to be missing a lot of stuff and I just really feel like it is obviously unfortunate that there is going to be producers and editors that are going to make the show be as dramatic as possible that way it is entertaining but then at the end of the day real girls are affected by this from the show you know what I'm saying and there is just so much hate being directed towards Alexis Michelle but I do have to say y'all if you guys did watch the episode I feel like it was a very difficult decision to make and I just don't really get it you know what I'm saying and on top of that too as you guys know I said before I feel like the like RuPaul RuPaul fandom is really really cutthroat y'all I feel like they are really crazy like I've seen it time and time again before on Twitter that so many people call Candy Muse a bully I just don't get those vibes like I just don't get it because I see Candy as how I see myself like I'm very blunt I'm very direct and I just say it you know what I'm saying and a lot of people like how to make her out to be a bully and I'm like y'all she's just keeping it real but I do know this day and age, so many people are easily triggered, so many people are easily offended, and so many people are very sensitive. You know what I'm saying? I look at Candy and I just feel like she is just very straight up, very straightforward, and that's just it. If you guys did not see when they were doing the role casting for one of their maxi challenges, um, I feel like Alexis Michelle was really like belittling her you know what i'm saying like saying oh there's not a difference between the role then okay then you take it it's like so crazy because as soon as alexis michelle had said that like there's not a difference between this part okay then you do it because you're the one saying it those were my initial thoughts and candy just bluntly directly stated it you know what i'm saying so i really appreciate a person like that but a lot of people make her out to be a bully and i'm like what like she's just being straight up you know what i'm saying with that being said though i may have some opinions within today's video that are going to get me canceled from the rupaul fandom as you guys know for years now i wanted to talk about rupaul's drag race on my channel but i've always been a little bit scared because i feel like y'all the rupaul stands Woo! they go hard y'all they go hard and i'm like oh my gosh I do want to say before getting into this video, though, the person that was sent home, I really do love. But also put yourself in those shoes of having to make the decision to get rid of one of your co-stars who becomes your friend. You know what I'm saying? It's obviously going to be a very difficult decision, but they know that already going into All Stars, that that is the name of the game, that they are going to have to send home one of their competitors, one of their friends, you know, somebody from part of their family. You know what I'm saying? And I do feel like, y'all, if I was in, I literally don't even know what I would do if I was in those shoes. Like if it came down to like one of my really, really good friends or somebody who was like doing really really well in the competition i'm like i just could not see myself sending my friend home do you know what i'm saying even if say for example like jimbo was in the bottom let's just say jimbo's like has the most um wins right now i feel like at the end of the day if my friend is there i'm gonna send jimbo home do you know what i'm saying that's just me Anyways, obviously everybody has different opinions about that. We're going to be talking about all the drama that is stirring up on Twitter with Alexis Michelle and Lala Reed, as well as other cast members from RuPaul's Drag Race. So if you guys are interested in that, of course, go ahead and keep on watching. If you guys like RuPaul commentary, please give this video a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys do like this here on my channel. I know it is something a little bit more new, but it is really something that I would like to get into. Even though low-key, I'm a little bit scared, y'all, because I'm like, ooh, I'll be seeing these stands and they go crazy. But anyways, make sure you guys click the link down below. Head over to my second channel. That's my travel channel with my brother. I upload new videos there every single Sunday and new shorts on a Wednesday, y'all. So make sure you guys go over there. I have some really good videos coming up soon and some really good ones right now on my channel. And if you guys don't prefer long form content, there is shorts that are going to be uploaded every single 
single Wednesday. So make sure you guys go over there, give a follow over there, give a like. I would really appreciate that. Let's go to get into it. All right, y'all. It is time for the spoiler alerts. If you guys have not seen the most recent episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars, make sure you guys click off this video right now because I don't want you guys saying that I am doing any type of spoilers. Even though this episode is almost one week old, the new episode does come out tomorrow. So you're super behind if you have not seen. But then you guys know spoilers are coming. So with that being said, you guys have been warned. Don't throw you know any shade at me for being a spoiler. Anyways, if you guys did not see, Alexis Michelle did win her lip sync challenge of the week and she was the top all star. So she did have to make the tough decision to either send Candy Muse or Lala Reed home. And this, y'all, I was like, oh my gosh, she is 100% going to send home Candy. I thought that was like the clear thing only because during the show, Alexis Michelle did make a comment about saying that she would not forget that Lala Reed did save her the last week besides Kahana and Alexis. And I do have to say within that as well too, obviously Lala Reed could have chose Kahana Montrese to stay because that's her friend. But at the end of the day, Alexis Michelle has been the stronger competitor and Kahana Montrese has been in the bottom. So I do feel like that was the right decision to make. Now, when it comes down to this decision right here between Candy Muse and Lala Reed, I feel like it's really difficult because they have the same exact track record. I do believe they each have one win and this was their um, first time in the bottom. So I do feel like this was very hard for Alexis Michelle. But the reason why Alexis Michelle is getting so much hate online is because she did make a comment within the show saying that she would not forget Lala Reed saving her and that she would basically like have her back. But with that being said, she did not make any promises to Lala Reed. And I do want to say within my own personal opinion, like going into the show, y'all, I'm so sorry, but I would not make any alliances or any promises to anybody. Because say, for example, if you guys have been watching the show, you guys would know with Candy Muse, it's kind of like she made an alliance with um, Alexis Michelle as well as Jimbo. And what if it comes down to the scenario where Candy Muse won and Jimbo and Alexis are in the bottom? She's going to have to choose between one of them. So you know what I'm saying? I feel like making alliances with certain people is going to be very difficult. And you may be put in the situation to where you're going to have to cut somebody out with that being said y'all i feel like i am i'm gonna get some heat for this but it's all good i love lala reed's personality i think that she is like an amazing entertainer i think she is so funny i really enjoy watching her on tv i feel like she is definitely a reality star i honestly feel like she could have her own tv show she just has that like captivating personality with that being said though as a drag race competitor in my personal opinion i do feel like candy muse is the stronger competitor that's just me that's just my opinion don't throw no hate my way that does not mean that i don't like lala reed i still feel like she's great but i do feel like if i was put into those in that scenario, I honestly probably would have saved Candy too, only because I do feel like she is the stronger competitor. That's just my opinion. That's my little two cents. You know what I'm saying? I do feel like Lala Reed is pretty cool, but I don't know. I just feel like with Candy Muse, I don't know. I just feel like she's just a little bit more polished. You know what I'm saying? Even though if I'm keeping it real within this specific challenge, I do feel like both of their designs were, I don't know, not the best, but y'all, I couldn't design anything. So let me not comment on that. Let's go ahead and get into drama on Twitter over here. I did feel like Alexis Michelle was going to get so much heat for this only because her choice of wording, obviously it did come across to the viewers like she was going to save Lala Reed if she was going to be in the the bottom but if you go back and re-watch it she did not make any exact promises you know what i mean and then on top of that too i do feel like she was going to send candy home only because they just got into it before so i was like oh because they got into it the week before i feel like she was going to send her home because y'all oh my gosh i feel like as soon as alexis michelle started crying uh candy views was like uh, uh i'm not dealing with the dramatics and she was just whoo she was letting alexis have it but she ended up saving her so she was of course was getting so much hate online she did have to make this statement she said i am a forever uh oh sorry I am a forever a, well, she messed that up, uh, a Miss Lala Reed stan, period. But some people calling out my integrity or saying my words mean um, nothing is ridic because I said I am forever grateful and won't forget her kindness. But even in Untucked, I made it clear a guaranteed save wasn't for sure. So check my words, which that is true. Obviously, she did say when she was sitting down on the little pink couch, she said that, you know, obviously what it comes down to me choosing candy over you. I do feel like it obviously was a very difficult decision. Also, too, I just want to throw this out there. A lot of people who are so quick to judge, like, do you guys ever put yourself into the position of being there on the show? Do you know what I mean? Like, obviously, you know, she's from the same town as Candy. Maybe she like, has known Candy longer. Uh, like, just picture how difficult of a choice that would be. I feel like not a lot of people are empathetic with that. And a lot of people don't realize that that's a really hard situation. I felt immediately as soon as they were in the bottom, I was like, 
oh my god, who would I send home? Um, anyway, so moving on right here, if you guys do not know Cornbread, Cornbread came out and said, nah, you tried it. And Alexis wrote back and said, because you were there and saw everything. And then Cornbread wrote back to her, girl, calm the fuck down. We all know what happens when you go on a TV show. People form opinions, and my opinion is, you tried it. You know damn well we don't see everything, but what we did see, dot, 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 was that. Now, take a deep breath, and remember, you went back to be a part of a story. So, obviously, a lot of people were really, really upset about that. Um, Alexis Michelle did go on to say, I understand the kids take the show extra serious, but some of y'all adults have serious growing up to do. Making snap ju judgments about strangers is low, and thinking you know someone based on the way they've come across on a reality show is naive. Obviously, a lot of people were going really, really crazy about this, but I do want to say, Lala Reed did not directly write back to Alexis Michelle, and this was from a couple days ago. The only thing ever since her elimination on the show that she tweeted out was, thank you all for the love and support. My goal was to go back and give the full La La Re experience while having fun. I accomplished that. So in the end, I still feel like a winner. I have nothing but a love for my entire cast. Hashtag fame games me, please. Hashtag all stars eight. Also earlier, I forgot to mention as well too, Alexis Michelle did comment out. She said it was an impossible choice, a lose-lose situation. Two incredible queens who I admire, love, and respect. I made a choice after sleeping on it. I wish I could have done differently. I'm I'm sorry for disappointing you. People make mistakes. I own this one. No edit, just me. At Miss Lala Ree, nothing can dim your shine and roast chicken dinners on me for life. I do want to say this. I honestly wish that she would just stick with her choice. You know what I'm saying? Just say, look, I chose Lala Ree. That's just it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is the reason why I, you know, chose candy and that's just it. But I do feel like her... I don't know, kind of like not standing by her choice and saying that she would change her decision if she could. I'm kind of like, girl, just stick by your choice. You made your choice. Just say it. That's just it. You know what I'm saying? Don't let people online obviously make you sway your opinion. Don't make people online who are like bullying you or bashing you or throwing stones at you change your way. Stick by your choice and that's just it. But I do want to say this though. I do wonder if Candy did send her home. Obviously, this is already pre-filmed. So these tweets are recent. The film is obviously not or the show is not. So I do wonder if Candy like sent her home. You know what I mean? This is just what some people are saying online right now, just to give you guys a little bit of a rundown, because, y'all, I feel like she is, like, going through it. But some people do, obviously, you know, have her side, but not the most of them. People are saying stuff like this. Alexis, I love you, but you know you very heavily implied you were going to do La La Re a solid and keep her if you got the chance. You didn't have to say it outright in order for it to be betrayal. And then Alexis wrote back and said, did you watch Untucked? You know, obviously, a lot of people are saying that. A lot of people are commenting, you know against her but some people are on her side like this person right here says or the producers could make the tv show about drag and not about backstabbing and drama the format is the problem and alexis michelle did write back to that and said bam now obviously a lot of people don't really comprehend they're going to make it as dramatic as possible but with that being said what do you guys feel do you guys feel like she made the right choice would you guys have chose a read instead of candy if you guys are going to answer that please answer why i'm really curious because in my personal opinion I feel like I would have saved Candy too, only because I really do feel like she is the stronger competitor. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like that is very difficult because I can just see myself being best friends with Lala Reed. I feel like she has just that captivating personality that everyone would love and adore. So obviously, I know that's why the viewers were super, super attached to her. But with that being said, make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.